From Plymouth State University, PM Weather with student meteorologist Eric Jean. Welcome to PM Weather on your Tuesday evening. I'm PSU student meteorologist Eric Jean. We have rain and snow chances in the forecast over the next couple days, and we see some improvement later this week where we start to see some sunshine and warmer temperatures ahead for the weekend. And we will be looking at that in the extended forecast. For now, though, we still have to deal with these showers that will change the snow overnight. And we've already seen that start to occur as we head into Vermont and New York. That will continue to pivot its way in here through the overnight hours and into tomorrow through the early afternoon hours. Today we had a high of 51 degrees, although that did occur at 10.30 this morning. We've been steadily dropping the temperature now into the mid to upper 30s through much of the area uh, right now. And with a normal high much warmer than that in the upper 50s, 59 degrees, nowhere near that today. This morning's low was a bit warmer than our normal low of 33 degrees. We're at 46 thanks to all those clouds that lingered overnight. And we've already picked up a hundredth of an inch of precipitation so far today. And that will continue to increase with the increase increasing snow and rain showers overnight. Again, right now that temperature has dropped to 37 degrees right here in Plymouth at 5 p.m. Dew point of 35 gives us a relative humidity of 93% with the wind that switched from the east-southeast over the last hour to west-northwest at 7 miles an hour, bringing in that cooler weather with a sea level pressure of 29.24 inches and steady. The sun will set tonight at 745 with a moon that's 98% illuminated and waxing. The full moon will occur tomorrow night with the sunrise tomorrow morning at 543. Generally cloudy as we see through much of New England right now with temperatures in Maine through the upper 40s to the lower 50s right now. As we start to get into New Hampshire, we cool things off where that front has already passed. We're in the lower to mid 40s through much of the state right now with showers starting to get into the eastern part of the state and western part of Maine and mixed showers as we start to head along the western coast of New Hampshire or western uh, side of New Hampshire where we're in Lebanon we're currently at 41 degrees rain and snow showers through much of Berlin right now and where we switched over to all snow Burlington at 33 degrees as you can see that colder weather continue to work its way down into New England 40s through much of New England we warm things up into through the Midwest and mid-Atlantic states in the 50s and 60s where we see the sunshine right now we're in the 70s and 80s through the Gulf Coast states mild through the mid Midwest and into the Plain states in the 60s cooler with our next storm system in the Pacific Northwest in the 50s and for tonight we'll see 30s should do it for much of New England and we'll start to see those temperatures get right around 30 later tonight with the chance of snow likely through much of the region as that cold front and low pressure system continue to progress to the south and east and for tomorrow we'll see those snow showers linger around we'll struggle to reach 40 degrees right here in Plymouth we'll be somewhere between the mid 30s and upper 30s tomorrow and again not much going on for weather through the middle of the country under high pressure and that'll continue until we get to the Pacific West coastline where we still have that cold front that continues to move eastward bringing showers to much of the region and here we are we see that storm system continue to pivot around through much of New England bringing those mixed showers and snow showers to much of western New England right now rain showers as we head closer to the coastline and we do have our next storm system starting to approach the west coast right now bringing some rain and snow showers to the higher elevations for tonight, we'll mainly be in the 30s in the lower elevations, higher elevations in the 20s, right along the Appalachians as well. Those cooler temperatures continue all the way down to the southeast before we see 40s and 50s right along the Gulf Coastline, 50s through Florida. Again, mild through much of the middle of the country as well in the 40s, about average for this time of year. 20s and 30s in the higher elevations of the Pacific Northwest, 40s right along the coastline. 40s for tomorrow will do it through much of northern and central New England. We'll struggle to reach that 40 degree mark. Better chance through much of southern New England, 60s through the mid-Atlantic states, where you see the most sunshine tomorrow is where we're going to see the warmer temperatures in the 70s and even some 80s and pockets of 90s through Texas for tomorrow. Cooler where the storm system is in the 40s and 50s to the Pacific Northwest. For tomorrow night, we'll see temperatures in the 20s and 30s through much of New England. 20s, especially in the higher elevations and anywhere that's just partial clearing, we'll see 20s likely. And those spread down the uh, Appalachian Mountains and we start to see some cooler temperatures into the Gulf Coast states in the 40s. And we warm things up overnight tomorrow night in the 50s and 40s through much of the middle of the country. Again, where that storm system is, we're in the teens and 20s and snow is likely tomorrow night through 
much of the Rocky Mountains, 30s and 40s right along the Pacific West coastline. Again, mixed showers tonight will change to all snow, especially late tonight and into tomorrow morning where we'll see rain and snow mixed through much of New England before that tapers off into some showers overnight. Our next storm system bringing rain showers and snow showers through much of the Pacific Northwest and Northern Plains states. Mixed showers change to snow tonight. Could be a slushy inch of accumulation on the grassy surfaces with steadier precipitation coming in late. A low of 32 degrees and a wind out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. For tomorrow, we'll see morning rain and snow showers turning to just rain showers in the afternoon with a high of 38 degrees. Again, struggling to get to 40. Northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. For tomorrow night, scattered showers, partial clearing late, a low of 35 degrees with the wind west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Your extended forecast showing we start to dry things out on Thursday, but turning very breezy with gusts approaching 30 miles an hour and temperatures generally in the mid-40s. We warm things up for Friday into the 60s and even warmer on Saturday, approaching what could be 70 degrees. We'll keep you updated on that forecast right here on Channel 20 at 7, 10, and 11. Have a great evening, everyone.